The most recent data in the world shows that there are approximately 8 billion people in the world. That's a crap ton of people. But would it surprise you to know that most surveys reveal that around 60% of people in the US alone report feeling lonely on a regular basis? That is higher than the obesity rate, which is at 39.7%. And how, in a world that is more connected than ever, do more than half of the U.S. population feel lonely? I don't know the answer to that, and in order for me to even get close to answering that, I have to answer it for myself. About a month ago, I started these habits to try to get out of this funk that I've been feeling. Something felt wrong. Not necessarily missing or visible, but something felt out of balance. I was tired of feeling horrible all the time, so I tried to implement these new systems in my life, like getting six hours of sleep every single night, or doing 60 push-ups a day, or taking cold showers. I figured if I can successfully do this for 30 days, I would feel better. And so I started to, and they were kind of helping, but it wasn't getting to the root cause of the issue. And then I had this conversation. Yeah. Right. So it's okay. Well, let me go manage some other relationships, or let me make sure that I, I, I'm at home in time to cook dinner and do the homework and, and make sure that my kids are getting from me what they need, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's not always easy, right? Actually, it's never easy. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad you're saying that. Uh, but it, if you only work and that's all you're doing, when it's time to retire, what do you got? Yeah. Yeah. Then you're the guy who has to go work at Walmart as a door greeter because you're bored being retired. Yeah. And you got nobody to spend time with. Yeah. Right? Because you, you didn't do the right things. Ah, there it is. The innate fear of ending up alone. Something that I didn't even know had existed until it was brought up. Thanks, Rebecca. I take pride in my work ethic. I think if there's one thing that people can't say about me, is that I'm lazy. Except for Anna. She, in a pile of dirty dishes in the kitchen right now, would say that I'm pretty lazy. But I've been reflecting lately, and admittedly, I think this is why I really don't have many friends. I spend all of my time outside of work and family, filming and editing and taking photos, and then I wonder why I never get invited to things. And if I'm to be a little bit more vulnerable with you. One of the reasons I make these videos is for the attention. I like the recognition, and I'm working to care about that a little less. So all this to say that if you are working to reach your goals, just know that it's gonna be a lonely path, because at the end of the day, no one is gonna work as hard as you do for your vision and your dreams. You have to be okay with that. And honestly, I don't know if I am. There's gotta be a way to have friends and reach goals. For example, one of the highlights of my year so far is going on this skiing trip with some really cool people. To me, these are the right people and I'm hoping that we can do it again. Everyone on that trip knew that I liked to record and take photos and film and they weren't bothered by it at all. If anything, it was me that was too into my head to get more footage than what I initially got. I really wish that I had gotten more. So my solution, at least for right now, is to find the right people that accept you for who you are and that understand the path that you're going in. The bright side of loneliness is that you will build consistency. And by the way, consistency is the key to reaching your goals, but it isn't always clean. Consistency can take time to polish, and that can look different for many different people. Going to the gym every day, for example, versus going to the gym three times a week is the same in the eyes of consistency. I think what I'm trying to say is that each person's situation is different, 
And I think just acknowledging that you feel lonely is okay. It doesn't mean that you're depressed or hopeless. If anything, it starts the conversation, right? It at least makes you more aware. So if you felt like something was off in your life, I would nudge you not just to look inwards, but also outwards. Success and achieving your goals might not necessarily give you that fulfillment. Building your relationships could help. So if you have any thoughts on other factors that can help, let me know in the comment section below. I'm still figuring this out. I think there's a lot of value in exploring, trying out different things to see what works for you. Whether that's submitting yourself to cold showers for 30 days, which by the way was awesome, but um, <laughs> hot showers for the win. Or doing 60 push-ups a day, or working on the relationships that you already have or don't have yet. I think as long as you're taking action. Thank you guys for the continued support. Season 2 of Paving the Trail is coming out soon, soon, soon. I know I say it every single video, but there's a lot of cool things coming. Heath, also I need my 24mm back. I'm having to use the 85mm right now, which sucks because I'm so far away from the camera. See, doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.